Hi guys, you're watching a bottle collecting run for the Unseen Foe, which is in the Panda King's world. Now the first couple enemies in this stage will allow you to play around with your newly acquired stealth move, which you got from your Grandma Ruby. And as with all gifts from your grandmother, don't forget to send her a thank you card for that. And uh, now when you get to the stairs right here, uh, you can keep going until you're spotted by either the gate or the spotlights going up. And then you can quickly hit your invisibility and as long as you don't break your invisibility the rest of the way up, nothing will be able to detect you. And then you can swipe the alarm to end it. Now for these two bottles in the, in the guardhouse, you see there's a hole I'm jumping out of. Actually jump in there to take that guard by surprise. Don't go in through the front like I did. And then there'll be a guard at the end of the conveyor belt here. Uh, you can actually hop over his searchlight as you're going from left to right towards him and you can quickly hit him with the attack button when you're right in front of him to quickly take him out. A little trick I found while experimenting in this level a little bit. And then just hop on the zip line. And when you make your way down here, there'll be three enemies consecutively, uh, two stick guys and a female karate kid. But with your rolling electrical attack, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just beware of the uh, female karate kid's punch because when she hits you with her punch, it won't hurt you in the electrical attack mode, but it will knock you backwards. So you may go over the edge of a cliff if you're not careful. And there's actually a guard guarding those two bottles there. So scale up this pipe first and then hit him from above with your dive attack. And there is a trophy for this stage, uh, a seen and wanted trophy. It will be the first link in the description section. So be sure to check that link out if you need help completing that trophy. And I've also started a Speedius Thievius guide. I've went through the stages and found all kinds of tips and tricks for helping to complete the master sprint runs in some of these stages much easier. Some of the stages I managed to beat with 15 seconds left on the clock. Some of them I've managed to beat with more than a minute left on the clock. So uh, if you're having trouble with the Speedius Thievius trophy, it will be the second link in the description section. Or if you're just curious to find out what I found that you might have missed, be sure to check that out. And then you'll scroll to the top here. And then you'll have one more to get. You should use the trampoline to reach the very top. And then you'll dart down here for the combo. Well, you gotta admire Sucker Punch's attempt at realism. I mean, with the echo that I mean it makes it feel like he's actually in the mountains, doesn't it? Okay, I left the mic on on the headset. Y'all won't let me get away with nothing. Um, <laughs> now for this, this is the uh, Defy Gravity move, uh, which you won't lose one of your horseshoes if you fall off a cliff. A time or two, it, it was bugged to where it did take away one of my horseshoes, but it's not bugged too bad. They're magically delicious. Oh, like I wasn't the only one thinking that when he said Lucky Charm. Well, maybe not for people under the age of 30. But uh, this is a brief demonstration of the move, and that's all there is to it. I'll see you next time.